Raven. I had a song when I was down there, and then I forgot it while John was talking. <laughs> and then I remembered what it was again when I got up here, and then I also forgot it again as soon as I was about to start playing. I'm gonna do this one instead. <laughs> Hell, 
be here and pay And dream this all night situation so I'd go into town and charge up, charge up all my devices and I dug a fire pit and I cooked on the fire and yeah basically just yeah spent two or three months trying to earn my beard and um, did all that kind of stuff and then I realized that I was quite lonely so I got myself a dog and yeah yeah she was six weeks old and I thought she was a Labrador and six months later she proved me wrong she took up half of the caravan. <laughs> Turns out she's a great name across French Mastiff. <laughs> 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 Her name is Princess Lucy. Um, so, yeah, now I have a small horse. With my best friend. But, um, everybody asked me, like, you know, when everything kind of started going back to normal, it's, oh, you had time to write and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of people don't realise that art has to imitate life. If you don't have a life, you can't make art. And I can't write 15 songs about my dog and put it on an album. Because that would make me a country musician. I've been fighting against that for quite a while now. <laughs> like, the problem was, like, I got into the caravan and I got myself a pair of boots and a bunch of flannels and... My beard grew out really long and then I started really, really listening to Waylon Jennings. <laughs> I realised that there's one major similarity in between blues and country music, right? 
you don't need to play an instrument to play either of these kinds of music. All you have to do is pull the correct guitar faces and you'll be fine, okay? So with blues, it's real simple. All you have to do is say no to everything that you're playing and act like your guitar smells funny at the same time. So it's... <laughs> Country's a bit more subtle. There has to be a specific face that goes with every chord, otherwise the song doesn't work. Okay? That's very specific faces. So G chord right, is the face that you pull when you first meet the boss when you go into a job interview and you just smile and wink. There you go. Real grateful for this opportunity. Thank you. Next one is the D chord, and it's a little bit different, right? You have to look up there, and I, I tried to figure out what was like the best example of this, and I figured it out the other night because I saw it at a gig. So it's about 12 o'clock, and it's last drinks, and you get propositioned at the bar, and you weren't expecting it, but you're also not opposed to the idea at the time. So it's... <laughs> Then you've got your E minor chord, which is down there. That's where all your shame and your regret and all the stuff you did the night before is, is right there. So it's... And then you've got your C chord, which is getting up and looking at your bank balance after that evening. So it's... You're back to G. to make country songs just in case. So I'm gonna do this instead. Thank you.
the cha 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 on the end of something. This feels very definite. Alright. One of the last times I played on this stage, I was lucky enough to win the Melbourne Blues Performer of the Year Award in 2017. So, people in Melbourne Belize Appreciation Society to send me to Memphis, Tennessee to compete in the IBCs and uh, made the semi-finals which I was quite proud of and uh, my first day after I got off the plane in Memphis, the first music I heard in Memphis, it was like 11pm on Beale Street and there was this old bloke busking and he was kind of barely conscious, I think he'd been there for about five or six hours and he was playing this song and I put what I thought was a normal amount of money in his guitar case. Apparently, if you put like a couple of quarters in someone's guitar case, that's an insult and they will chase you down the street. <laughs> so I didn't get to ask him what the song was. <laughs> I didn't know what the song was. I just had like the rhythm and the melody in my head. And, um, a year or so later, I was at Bendigo Blues Festival. Which is, uh, does anybody know Julian James? Troublemaker that one. <laughs> he was playing this song at an after party and he was in about the same state as the busker was. <laughs> he was sitting on the chair and he was... So he was about to fall off the chair, so I went and grabbed him and went, Joy, what's the song? I need to know the song. And he just goes, Hurricane, and then passes out. <laughs> I don't know said that, but he had a very big weekend. It's been a heathen song. 30 miles on a ghost train. Hit us how and moan. Bridges get a lower. Shrimbo's coming home. The old man down in the corner slowly turns his head. He's drinking from his whiskey bottle. This is what he said. Well, I was born in the rain of a pouch chain underneath the Louisiana moon. No amount of strain up, no hurricane. Told him that it takes a lot of water to wash away New Orleans. Making down from Chicago, you gonna send that letter right? Three feet higher, it won't make it for the night. But the old man down in the corner said, Don't you listen to that boy? Wanna be down by the morning and build him back to Illinois. Cause I was born in the rain of a pot chain underneath the losing that moon. Mount a train up on a hurricane Come around every June I'm black water, devil's daughter Gold, she's hard and she's mean Nobody taught him that it takes a lot of water To wash away New Orleans
want to be Nobody told him that it takes a lot of work To wash away New Orleans Nobody told him that it takes a lot of water To wash away New Orleans There's some people in the crowd that I've known for quite a long time. Is there many of you that have seen me play since I was a little kid? Right. I've never been a little kid, but... I was, I was six foot one and had dreadlocks when I was 14. But, um, I learned how to play blues guitar from my uncle. That's everybody learns how to play blues guitars from their uncle. If you don't know how to play blues, ask your uncle. Actually, if you are an uncle and you're telling everybody that you don't know how to play blues music, stop, stop behind everybody, that's really selfish. Um, anyway, I was lucky enough for my uncle to be a guy named Lloyd Spiegel. So, the first couple of years of my career, I pretty much became a Lloyd Spiegel cover show. And, um, I owe most of my career to that man, and I'm very appreciative of we're not related, I just showed up to his house when I was 14 and didn't leave for a couple of years. And they were probably saying they can see a resemblance. I don't know what that means. Anyway, I pitched this off him. country and Americana and that kind of split my personality and my music style in half ever since and um, yeah and then you know, all the songs that I was writing when I got home came out a little more country than I wanted them to I felt I fought against it for quite a while but I play like a blues guitar player and I sing like a blues player so it's like you know, I'm not gonna get away from it but, I try to keep things kind of like hearted up here. But I think I'm a little bit funny, otherwise I'm just another dude rambling at you in a pub. But, um, I, I play a lot about, um, not a lot, a little bit about a certain kind of thing that happened to me, or had been happening to me for about 10 years. And, um, if you 
guys are going to listen to me play, then I should probably be honest with you guys. I owe you that courtesy, so. I'm a recovering alcoholic and drug addict, and I'm a bit over three years clean and sober. Yeah. Um, I'm not only really lucky to still be alive, I'm lucky to still have a life and be able to do this in front of you guys. Uh, I realise that a lot of my friends along the way have not been We lost a fellow named Justin Townsville. Anybody know Justin Townsville? He was, um, he was a friend of mine. And in the last conversation we had, we talked about how much we both loved this song. So, this is my friend Justin. Start on the engine and heading for the place we met. Praying to Sister Juliet and smoke three packs of cigarettes. I'm still trying to figure out forgiveness and keep track of all of my sins. Tell me you don't love me and I promise I won't darken your doorstep again It sure ain't how I thought that it would feel I finally have made it I arrived alive and damn it Man, it's overrated Put us back on the path list. I never knew why we needed to say. I took a pride trying to hide from the devil of early marriages and empty graves. Last night, New York City was heavy, and why I'm feeling low. Hoping hell would explode Now I'm trying not to think about home And all that I miss I swallow my pride And I cry Cause home doesn't exist We've read all the right books Sang songs we misunderstood With or without any reason We did rebel in what justice we could And you I right, get know the truth It gets hard to find And sweet over robbing good men blind. Maybe I don't have it in me. Maybe it doesn't have me in it. If I don't fly, then that's fine. Just let me find a place where I fit. Started up the engine and headed for the place we met. Praying to sister Juliet and smoke three packs of cigarettes.
the exact same thing I just played a couple of songs ago, except slightly slower and with different lyrics. That's what most of a blues gig is. Sunday sessions and, you know, making sure pubs have got their entertainment quota for pokies and things. So this is really nice to play to people who listen. It's either that or I'm destroying my e-holes in a band called The Revelators. And, um, yeah, we started as a blues band, but it was probably not a, um, a great decision of me to get two metalheads and try and make them play blues because they kind of revolt eventually. <laughs> It costed me, you know, $400 in fancy year blocks now, so. <laughs> uh, Anyway, I usually play this with them, so I've worked on an acoustic arrangement of this. Um, there's no real deep meaning to this or anything, this is just about how much I hate the Hume Highway. <laughs> how much my girlfriend at the time loved the Hume Highway because I was usually I never thought I'd 
been a liquor in the neon lights Yeah, I saw you holding up the station walls I'm about as pretty as a porcelain dog listening to me. Thanks very much for having me. Um, yeah, to have so many people actually sitting down and listening to my songs, it's, it's, uh, it's very career affirming and um, I very much appreciate it. So thanks a lot for knowing this appreciation to have me.
this morning and the crime's out the door. Came home this morning and the crime's out the door. Ain't got my work, no barrel house no more.
takes twice as long to build bridges you burned. And there's hurt you can call, time alone can I you. Keep your nose on the grindstone and out the pill. They bring me to chills. Keep your nose on the grindstone out of the pills. Keep your nose on the grindstone.